September 2nd, A Life of Pure and Holy Sacrifice He who believes in me, out of his heart will flow. John 7, verse 38 Jesus did not say, He who believes in me will realize all the blessings of the fullness of God, but, in essence, he who believes in me will have everything he receives escape out of him. Our Lord's teaching was always an anti-self-realization. His purpose is not the development of a person. His purpose is to make a person exactly like himself. And the Son of God is characterized by self-expenditure. If we believe in Jesus, it is not what we gain, but what he pours through us that really counts. God's purpose is not simply to make us beautiful plump grapes, but to make us grapes so that he may squeeze the sweetness out of us. Our spiritual life cannot be measured by success as the world measures it, but only by what God pours through us, and we cannot measure that at all. When Mary of Bethany broke the flask of very costly oil and poured it on Jesus' head, it was an act for which no one else saw any special occasion. In fact, there were some who said, Why was this fragrant oil wasted? Mark 14 verses 3 through 4. But Jesus commended Mary for her extravagant act of devotion and said, Wherever this gospel is preached, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. Mark 14 verse 9. Our Lord is filled with overflowing joy whenever he sees any of us doing what Mary did, not being bound by a particular set of rules, but being totally surrendered to him. God poured out the life of his Son that the world through him might be saved. John 3 verse 17. Are we prepared to pour out our lives for him? He who believes in me, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water, and hundreds of other lives will be continually refreshed. Now is the time for us to break the flask of our lives, to stop seeking our own satisfaction, and to pour out our lives before him. Our Lord is asking, who of us will do it for him?